Hi, A.M. here, and today we're going to talk about my favorite priest word one life from Antarctica. Now, starting off, of course, now we all know by now, back then, during the age of dinosaurs, it used to be much more back then, like even 200 million years ago. To 180 million years ago during the early Jurassic. If anyone's seen Dinosaur Revolution, of course, where it takes place there around that time, of course, with the prosauropods and also the theropod, well known for that. For that head crest called Cryophosaurus, better known as Elvis Presley. And also, and also, ever since, also other dinosaurs like the Ankylosaur and Tartipelta, and from the late Cretaceous period, 75 to 65 million years ago, even at that point, it was, it was mainly covered in some warm tropical home to some ammonites, mosasaurs, and plesiosaurs, showing how even then, surely before the dinosaurs were extinct, it used to be much hotter, more humid back then, very much like, say, the American Southeast, if not the Red or Arabian Sea. What kind of marine life would have lived there? And normally when we associate dinosaurs with what kind of climate we, they lived in, we obviously associate them as living in a place with a very warm tropical climate, like say in a jungle or a swamp. While with Antarctica and also the Arctic, that's not the case, though even then it was sort of mild, sort of like it's on land, of course, in the Arctic, very much like in Nord, very much like in Central Europe, kind of mild, or, or the Northwest, kind of mild, sort of like Washington or Oregon State. Or even the Northeast, like Pennsylvania. It was sort of warm during the summer, yet during winter it was obviously cold and mostly gardens to see and play and dinosaur. So that's probably not maybe. Though it wasn't until the dinosaurs went extinct for the evidence of that when it really started to cool down, though even then, 65, even 50 million years ago, it was still much, much hotter than it is today, pretty much everywhere. Like, say, in Europe, where the toughest sea was in northern Af of course, northern Central Europe, of course, in Western Russia, of course, where it used to be a tropical ocean was replaced by some tropical rainforest, except around the edges. And also same with the with Central North America where where the Western Interior Seaway made also made way for some tropical rainforest and then some open plains, the Great Plains like it is now. And also with Antarctica as well. Though it started to become more mild at this 
So it really showed and seen that documentary was until 20 million years ago where it actually became as it is now. And of course, the back to the creators. And, and also, during the Cretaceous as well, mid Cretaceous, since Australia and Antarctica used to be much closer, like, together back at that point until 60 million years ago when they finally broke up and Australia was much further down south of the equator where of course today it's mostly covered in deserts and badlands while back then it was covered in tr lush tropical rainforests and the central part of the country as well there was an inland sea known as the Aramaean Sea so being that there as seen walking with dinosaurs, it stated how the creatures from uh, the dinosaurs from Australia, like Ludovarosaurus, and of course the Allosaur, which later were viewed to be Australopithecus, Leonosaurus, and uh, would go from there from time to time. And at that point, of course, marked the last remnants of the supercontinent known as Gondwan, which include those two continents, South America, Africa, and India, so, which happens to be a subcontinent, even though it's technically part of Asia. Though I guess, even though that wasn't a lot, but, as usual, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel to watch more content every day. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Of course, another episode of Jurassic Fact File 14. And now, but from now on, 